What's up, bookworms, and welcome back to the Book Nook. I'm super excited to be back here making a book review with you guys. And today, we're going to be talking about The Ichabog by J.K. Rowling. That's right, J.K. Rowling, the same amazing author who wrote Harry Potter. We're going to be talking about this newer book. I'm pretty sure it came, around, uh, came out around in September 2020. I think that's right, but don't quote me on that. And we're going to be talking about if J.K. Rowling can still write, if she still has the same touch that she did from Harry Potter. We're going to be talking about all that and more. Um, this book is for anyone from probably 10 and up, I would say, to, um, you know, like a elementary school to adults. So I'm going to uh, read the quick summary of the book really quick to give you ideas about um, what it's about. And then we're going to talk about it. So let's do it. Once upon a time, there was a tiny kingdom called Cornucopia, as rich in happiness as it was in gold and famous for its food. From the delicate cream cheeses of Kurtzberg to the hopes of hem and pastries of Chalksville, each was so delicious that people wept with joy as they ate them. But even in this happy kingdom, a monster lurks. Legend tells of a fearsome creature living far to the north in the marshlands, the Ichabog. Some say it breathes fire, spits poison, and roars through the mist as it carries off wayward sheep and children alike. Some say it's just a myth. And when that myth takes on the life of its own, casting a shadow over the kingdom, two children, best friends, Bert and Daisy, embark on a great adventure to untangle the truth and find out where the real monster lies, bringing hope and happiness to Cornucopia once more. All right, so now I'm gonna answer the question that you all clicked on this video to see, and it is, does JK Rowling still have her touch? Can she still write like she used to whenever she wrote all the Harry Potter books? So I'm gonna answer that for you. So I've actually read all Harry Potter books, all seven in the series, 39 times. So do that math, 39 times seven, that'd be 273, I think, <laughs> I hope. So I've really had a chance to examine her writing and really, you know, get to completely know it and become really familiar with her writing style. And for J.K. Rowling, it's really always about storytelling over writing. So I've always thought that her writing is, it's okay. I mean, obviously she's an amazing author, but really her storytelling really prevails over the writing itself because that's really where she excels in creating a, in a great world where you know you can really be immersed in like Harry Potter where you know you can, someone like me can buy all the Hogwarts shirts and robes and all of this stuff behind me uh, you can really get immersed in the world that's what she's really good at and this is the same exact thing so if you enjoyed Harry Potter the, uh, the world immersion this is kind of like the same type of thing so I think that you would enjoy this book as well now I want to get into some other things I liked about this novel and of course like every other book I've basically reviewed on this channel this is a fantasy book you guys know how much I love fantasy books being able to get immersed in completely different worlds than our own you know uh, that's really my favorite thing so of course this had to be a fantasy book and JK Rowling wrote it so you know falls under kind of the it's nothing like Harry Potter I just want to say that it's not related to Harry Potter in any way um, it, you can tell it's written by the same author, but it has nothing to do with Harry Potter. And another thing I liked was the amazing imagery throughout the novel. Of course, you know, whenever you have such a good writer like J.K. Rowling in her story uh, creation, you get to see how she's also so good at imagery. And throughout the first chapter, second chapter, there's a lot of um, imagery about the food that's made in this land of cornucopia, and it really makes you hungry. So. Whenever an author can evoke a feeling like that in you through their writing, you know, that's always a good thing. Uh, always love to see that. And there's a lot of politics and deception in here, which, you know, I did a review on Dune last week. So you guys know that I like that. It's not really as deep as Dune, you know. If you've read Dune, you know how multi-layered it is, how deep the politics go into it. So it's nothing really like that. It's If you're a kid reading this, it's definitely... Um, understandable you can definitely grasp it more than something like doom you can be able to understand this type of politics it's main, mainly just like corruption and lies like nothing too deep there um, and you know just like a book I reviewed two weeks ago it was fairy tale by Stephen King that was strongly inspired by the Brothers Grimm and this is kind of down that same path this is really a, a fairy tale that's grim and dark and has you know, a good moral at the end of the story. That's really what this is. So it's really like a 300 page Brothers Grimm fairy tale is kind of what it's like. So I enjoyed that. And another thing that I enjoyed a lot about it was there were certain pictures made throughout the chapters by kids who read the book. As you can see, here's like, you know, a picture there. And every chapter, you know, there's like a new, a new picture 
which a kid made, and it was really fun to be able to look through those. Here's a really good one. And that was awesome being able to see the kids' drawings in every chapter. I thought that was really cool. So that was all the stuff that I enjoyed about the novel. Now, let me talk about some things I didn't like. So this book has somewhat of an uh, identity crisis. It's written for children, like the writing style is really made for probably elementary to middle school, but there's a lot of adult ideas in here that can really only be grasped by, you know, an adult or, you know, an older teenager like myself. There's also a good bit of violence. Uh, none of it's too bad because it's not very graphic, but it's definitely still there. One thing that, um, you know, kind of made me surprise was whenever I was looking through the chapter pictures, you know, the kids that have drawn pi uh, pictures for the chapter, they have to have had the read, read the book so they know, you know, what to draw. And I saw one of the ages was listed as a seven-year-old, which I think might be a little bit too young. It's uh, a little bit too violent, a little bit too deep and dark for a seven-year-old to be able to wrap their head around. So I definitely say 10 and up probably for, I think that's a fair uh, age range. So it's not funny or uplifting. That's another thing I disliked about it. One thing I liked about the Harry Potter series was how there's so many, I've read it so many times, there's so many um, symbols and themes and ideas that are expressed throughout the book that you can really get to find out new ones every time I read it again and again. So that's something I really liked about J.K. Rowling's writing, but that's kind of not there. Uh, also, it's not very funny. You know, one thing I like about Harry Potter was, you know, it is funny. Like, there are certain things that are, you know, you read and it, it's funny, but th this isn't too funny. It's pretty dark, like I said. So that's just some stuff I didn't like as much, but I still think it's a great book. I'm going to talk about it in my final review. So on goodreads.com, I'm pretty sure this book got a final review of something around 3.98. It was something like that. And I would say my review is uh, around there as well in the 3.5 to 4 star range. Um, of course, I had to enjoy it. Fairy tale type of thing. Um, fantasy, my favorite thing. So, of course, I had to enjoy it. So, I'd say 4 out of 5 stars, just like the reviews online. I really enjoyed it. So I want to thank all you bookworms so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment for a book that you want me to review next. So remember to stay true, be you, and until next time, read on. Book review. I sold!